I am Paxton Baker, the Executive Vice President and General Manager of Centric Television Network, and you are watching HealthyLeaders.tv. I think that health actually starts with your mental attitude, and so for me, uh, everything for me begins with a positive mental attitude. It begins and begins and ends there. Uh, I think that uh, in life, the whole goal of accomplishing things begins with you actually thinking that it can be accomplished. Either you accomplishing it yourself or the team or group of people that you put together uh, can accomplish something. And so I, I spend a lot of time focusing on my mental attitude. Uh, second to that is sound physical health. At 53 years old, I uh, very much consider myself a fitness junkie. At home, I have a gym and um, I utilize it. I've got a court. I have uh, um, from April through November, I have uh, the outdoor basketball court anywhere from six to 15 guys come over every Sunday morning at nine o'clock uh, when it's warmer and uh, sometimes eight when it's really hot or 10 when it's a little bit cooler and we play basketball for about uh, two to three hours on Sundays. Uh, I would say the fitness is, is, is um, probably if not the most important, one of the most important parts of my life and it makes me feel alive, it makes me feel invigorated. Uh, I'm, I am a lifelong vegetarian. Uh, my mother uh, stopped eating uh, meat and meat products about seven years before I was born, so I was born and raised a vegetarian. I eat uh, salads and vegetables pretty much every day and when I'm home it's pretty much steamed mixed vegetables and so I'm consciously aware of my diet. I do shakes in the morning, protein shakes in the morning, uh, either um, almond based or soy based uh, shakes with um, bananas and strawberries and um, like fun stuff like that. Uh, for me it's still being able to do things and do them with uh, solid comfort into my 50s. Uh, I'll be hitting 53 in a couple weeks and uh, the fact that I can still do things and actually from my end actually do some things better than I could when I was younger. Uh, one of the things that I was always had a challenge with when I was younger was uh, flexibility and um, I go through a pretty extensive stretching routine now uh, for an hour at least once a week sometimes twice a week. So I've worked on that on a consistent basis. Um, also being aware of my breathing. Uh, from a basketball perspective, uh, one of my goals still in my life from a physical perspective is still to be, be able to be the oldest person person ever to get an NBA contract, so I've been working on that 10-day contract. Leadership to me is uh, service and being the chief servant. And I tell people on productions, when I'm the executive producer of an event, I am the executive servant of that event. And everything that happens, ultimately, I am accountable for. And the pluses and the minuses of it, and although I have a staff of people that work with me and get paid to do, some paid, some volunteer to do a wide array of different jobs, ultimately, I am the one. I'd say that the, that the, the, the world is um, as only as big as you think it is, and it is as small as you think it is. And if you don't think that you're going to get at an opportunity, the odds are that you won't. But at least if you are open to think that you can accomplish something, to think that you can pull off something, the odds are much greater that you actually will. And my life has been a pure example of believing that something could be achieved and then actually being fortunate enough to achieve it. So I'll end by saying that um, being born in Compton in 1960, uh, the greater amount of odds were stacked against me. Uh, my family moved out of California, out of Los Angeles, to San Bernardino, California after the 1965 Watts riots, which was overwhelmingly traumatic to a young person. Um, and there's no way that like somebody looking at me would think that I would have accomplished and achieved the different things that I've achieved in my life. But by just having an open mind, by having a positive mental attitude, by being in sound physical health, the odds of those things growing and um, accomplishing them have been like achieved and realized by just being open enough to think that you could and um, and then indeed doing it so um, I will throw those challenges out to anybody who's watching this that if you can believe it you could probably achieve it